So for the first step, you're going to want a account with Parabola. We're going to want to get a Google Sheet open, a blank one, um, and an API of your choice. So I've chosen a simple eSports API, and this is done by a website called Pandascore. Um, this serves up a lot of data that we can get really easily. Um, it's, got, it's free for a certain amount of usage as well, so you can do the same. Um, and then what we're going to do, we're going to try and you know, get some player data from this API and then output it as a Google Sheet. So once you've got Parabola, an API and a Google Sheet, uh, you're ready to go. So go to Parabola, go into uh, Flows, My Flows, um, and then we're going to want to um, create a new flow. I'll already create one here. And you should have a blank canvas here. First step, we're going to grab the, the API import component from the top here. I'm going to double click that. We're going to want to have a get request. And then we're going to want to enter our API endpoint. So um, for the endpoint we're going to use here is the Okay, so we're going to do this one here, api.pandascore.co.lol.players. Okay, I'm going to enter this one in here, and then we're going to need our authentication, which is a bearer token, and we get this from our API provider. So with Pandascore, um, it will be in our dashboard. Grab your access token, pop that in there, and then press show updated results. This will go and get the information from our API endpoint and present it to us in this screen here. So we've got current team, um, ID, and the name. So we've got 50 rows, 10 columns, um, and then we've got something to work with. Close this. <clears throat> now we're gonna want to um, start manipulating the data a bit. So if you wanted to a common one is to um, flatten some of the info that comes in from the API. So here we have um, info on the current team. Maybe we want to use this in some of our columns later. So we can flatten this using the JSON flattener component. Uh, flatten these columns. We're going to want to flatten the current team. We can do all of them if you want, but just in this case, um, we're going to do uh, concurrent, sorry, current video game. Press the data results, and then you should have the team name, team slug, team image, all flattened out nicely for you. Current video game slug. So we're pulling the current info out of both the video game and the current team. Nice. Now we're going to want to get rid of those columns because we don't need them anymore. And we're going to use a column filter component for this. And now it says columns to remove. We're going to want to remove the current team. And we're going to want to move the current video game because this data is kind of useless to us in that format. So we're going to get rid of that. <coughs> Great, so now we've got something mm, bit better to work with. Perfect. Okay, now we've got some data to work with. Cool, simple as that. You can do uh, a lot more transforms with your data. You can add rows, you can rename rows if you'd like to. Um, there's a rename, column rename, um, but I'm not gonna do that now. And then if you go to destinations over here, you can either export this API if you want to get into that. We'll probably leave that for another tutorial though. Um, and then we're just going to simply export this as a Google Sheet. Um, you could use a Google Sheet to upload to any web builder like Webflow, or you can pass that Google Sheet into something like Zapier if you're not familiar with using an API. But for this tutorial, we're just going to output as a simple Google Sheet. Okay. I've got a Google Sheet here called Makepad. 
harbor should be in there somewhere there we go okay Invent sheet one. And there we go. This is what we'll, you should see in our Google Sheet once you run it. Now, if you have this all sorted out and you've got your data as you want, um, you press publish. <clears throat> Now, if you've got the data in the shape that you want it, um, you can press publish and then press run now. And this will get your data, flatten it, filter it, and then push it out to your Google Sheet. Nice and simple, nothing too complicated. Um, and now we've got some data in our Google Sheet that we can play with here. That's it. That's it for this tutorial like I said nice and simple it's a really easy way to get data using Parabola for your project and um, there is a ton more tools that you can use in components within Parabola itself like filtering merging columns getting data from different places and pushing them out through APIs but we're gonna leave that for another tutorial as we said hope you enjoy it and let me know what you're building with this thanks bye